by Shalom. Well, first start off by giving all praise and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rakakadash. We have honor to the elder apostles from the great most time, Titus and Truth. We wish to the rest of the service of Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, throughout the four corners of the earth. That's doing his work like Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shah commanded us to do. Alright, my name is Milkham. And I come out to do the uh, uh, do the work of your house by Shimmy outside through spirit, uh, you know. Uh, uh, by Shimmy Cock with us. It's a lot of the, uh, the mind getting right, you know, it takes a minute sometimes. All right, um, let's see. I think we're going to start off and uh, I think we're going to start off in the book of uh, yeah, 1 Corinthians chapter 9 which I knew it wasn't going to stay up there too long you know, and how it usually happens so 1 Corinthians chapter uh Chapter 9 and verse, sorry, verse 15. It says, uh, but I have used none of these things, neither have I written these things, that it should be done so, uh, so uh, that it should be so done unto me, for it were better, better for me to die than that any man should make my glory void for through the for though I preach the gospel I have nothing to glory of it for necessity is laid upon me yea woe unto me if I preach not the gospel so hey that's why you know the Lord set men up to come out to preach the gospel you know as a youngster before me uh, the Lord allowed me to into to this truth, you know, I was always a a, a rough guy as a, a young young kid. I was always rough, you know. Uh, you know, uh, but the Lord also also put the spirit of me of uh, understanding. You know, you know, it took a while. You know, you know, as a youngster, you know, a lot of things you don't understand, or you think you you know invincible. You know, and I always had this spirit on me, but the Lord. You know, had knocked me upside the head a few times, so, so I could understand. Okay, uh, not to always think I can, you know, do and beat everything. You know, beat everybody. So, you know, and uh, I'm thankful for that. You know, but I always been a rough young kid, and uh, the spirit is still kind of on me a little bit. You know, but I understand. You know, you can't beat the world. <laughs> Okay, read it on. Verse 17, it says, For if I do this willingly, I have a reward. So if we do preach this gospel, you know, we have a reward. You know, and that reward comes, you know, as Jacob's trouble comes in. You know, we know Jacob's trouble is the, you know, the beginning of the end of, uh, you know, this society as we call, uh, you know, Esau's society. Was the scripture call it Esau society, the wicked, the rulership of the wicked, should I say? All right, it says, For if I do this willingly, I have a reward, but if against my will a disposition of the gospel is committed unto me, so if I do this uh, non willingly, but come out here like, Oh man, I gotta do it again, then there's a disposition against me, okay. So, uh, now we got, uh, uh, access on our hands. We're going to look up this, uh, uh, we're going to look up this word disposition in the blue letter. Okay. So we'll go to, uh, first Corinthians, right? First Corinthians, what was it, 9? 9 and uh, 9 and 7. 
17. Okay. You know, so it's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing when it comes down to it, you know. oversight, administration of, of the properties, the office of a manager or overseer, stewardship, okay, administration disposition, okay, so this disposition is uh, being a stewardship over, you know, this gospel, okay, we're going to find out what disposition means in the um, uh, Wikipedia, it's an example for a rule or usual requirement. Okay, so this is the requirement that we have, have to do as a service of the Hawa Pashim Okay, it says a system or order, government or organization of a nation. Yeah, so the Lord set his men up to be, you know, over, you know, over the nation. Okay, beginning with you know the, the children of Israel, or, you know, or the house of Israel, the Lord's uh, chosen people, man. Okay, it says organization of a nation, which the nation, you know, it begins with the nation of Israel, right? So-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Those are the true uh, Israelites. Okay, it says community, etc. Okay. So this is for the organization of the nation of Israel, okay, to come out to preach this gospel and truth and sincerity, because the gospel has been preached throughout, you know, you know, beginning with uh, Babylon the Great and and, uh, and falsehood, you know, uh, 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 you know, the scripture hadn't been taught like it's supposed to be taught, okay. Uh, uh, Let's see. I just had a uh, scripture in mind. Uh, is it Romans 1 and 17, I believe? I'm just thinking because uh, I heard this uh, the other day. And, uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, I forget the scriptures, you know. means I need to do more study. Well, the one guy told me, he said, you need to study more. Okay? But, you know. You know, uh, let's see. I think it's a 1 in 17, I believe it was. Uh, let's see. Nope, that's not it. Matter of fact, let's look for it in the uh Back home when you leave from down there. Uh, 
And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. So this gospel being preached through all for all the through, for, for all the nations, right? For a witness unto all nations, right? This hey, you know, at, uh, at one point in time, you know, only people that was preaching the gospel, which it was false, uh, uh you know, in falsehood was these different churches and, uh, you know, they didn't have the truth of the Bible anyway. You know, they were telling you things like, you know, uh, all nations can be saved when you read the scriptures. You know, the Lord tells you only the nation of Israel can be saved. And, and out of that nation, it was a, 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 a elect a amount of people out of the nation of Israel to be saved. Okay, and they tell you God loves everybody. Tell you come as you are. All you know, all matters of falsehood, man. You know, and we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shimi Abishai, he gave us this understanding that you know a lot of things that being these churches are set up, you know, through uh, you know, the government. You know, we know the government don't have our better, you know, interests. You know, and eventually it's gonna get worse, man. As time goes on, you know, uh won't be able to search certain things. Certain things are going to be deemed as uh, an offense of the gospel, man. Okay, it's going to be a defense. Uh, what was that? Uh, I think that's in Isaiah. But uh, let's go to Amos. A man shall be a of the word. Okay. And uh, I think that's consumed and all that watch for iniquity are, are cut off you know and that's talking about the you know the elect we watch for this uh, uh the lord tells us to watch as well as pray it says uh the what that's where it again it says but the terrible one is brought to not and that's esau either the wicked the bible uh names him as you know it says and the scorner is consumed all that watch for iniquity are cut off. You know, that says a lot in that scripture. 
You know, we watch for iniquity, you know. Uh, beginning with the, the elect, we watch for iniquity, you know, which is sin. Okay? It says that make a man a offender for a word. You know, that's what eventually is going to happen, man. They're going to make a man an offender for a word. You know, and then being an offender for, of, of a word, meaning we come out and, and preach this Bible how it's supposed to be preached. You know, we explain it and break it down, okay, through the spirit and the power of the how about she out shot. It's being broke down, okay, in honesty and truth and sincerity, okay? You know, with no holding back. You know, we say it is some, some men are, are a little bit more, uh, you know, aggressive than others, but, you know, we say it in, in, in hoping that, you know, the elect understands it, you know, beginning with the elect. You know, let's see if we can bring it out of the sun so it won't. Uh, says to make a man an offender of the word and to lay snare for him that reproved in the gate. So that's what we do. We reprove in the gate to tell you what you're doing wrong and to repent, man. To feel sorry for what you're doing, you know, and come back to the, the true understanding of the scriptures, man. Not what the church tells you, because the church have that 501c3, you know, charter, you know, through the government to keep uh, you know, their congregation to sleep. Uh, uh, telling you can do anything, you know, and God will forgive you, you know. And, and, you know, once you come into the understanding of this truth, you're going to understand that you're going to be want to be less offensive, you know, in things that you do and understand this truth, man, okay? Understand what your how about me out of shot wants you to understand, okay? Because... Uh, it's the time that's coming that hey, hey, it ain't no coming back from. Okay? We're just taking trouble. And that's the beginning of the end. Alright? It says, uh, it says, and turn aside. Well, let's read that again. Uh, verse 21, it says, to make, an, to make a man an offender of the word, which that man, you know, is it, going to be many men that's going to be, you know, say different things, but Mostly their uh, focus and target is for uh, uh, the the elect of the nation of Israel, the, you know, the men that come out and prophesy the understanding of the Bible, which, you know, like, hey, it could be offensive to some people, you know. Other words going to be said that the people that are not in the truth, you know, they you know, they know they have an, uh, an understanding that certain things shouldn't be done, done and they're going to correct it, you know. And, you know, they're going to get caught up in that net, too. But the, 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 the main focus is the men that come out and preach this truth. Okay? They're really going into the downfall of Esau, even wicked, uh, you know, uh, uh, rulership. Uh, it says, And lay a stare for him that recruited in the gate. They hate him that recruited, recruited in the gate. You know, come out and tell you what you're doing wrong and to, uh, you know, clean it up. It says, uh, to turn aside the just for a thing of not. Okay? Therefore, thus said the Lord Yahweh, who redeemed Abraham concerning the house of Jacob, Jacob shall not now be ashamed, neither shall his face wax pale. You know? Showing you that, you know, uh, uh, the true understanding of the nation of Israel. You know, the nation of Israel has, you know, they don't have pale skin, man. You know, they're dark-skinned men and families, right? Not just dark-skinned, but, you know, uh, out of the nation of Israel. You know, when I say dark-skinned, I'm talking about the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Okay, so it's all, it, it all goes back to a nationality. All right? Uh... Oh, yeah. Let's go back to uh, Matthew 24. Okay. Damn, it got hot out here all of a sudden. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, I just uploaded uh, uh, a YouTube short. And I think that thing was about 30 minutes. 
but talk about uh, it was actually the length of it was uh, uh, 38 seconds and it took every bit of 30 minutes to upload it you know a 37 or 40 or close to 40 minute or 40 second video took it 30 minutes to upload you know that's turning off the uh, Wi-Fi you know allowing uh allowing to upload you know through the cell towers and still man you know and i know this video the longer it go on it's gonna take it that much longer to upload i think what i start should start doing is you know uh coming out more on the highways and byways of prophesying who is you know and rebuking the gate okay on the daily instead of going you know, videos, uh, you know, shorts or whatever. But you know, it's all just, you know, I have, I come down here where it's uh, more, where the gate is uh, more uh, broad and, you know, more things to see, more people to, you know, get the understanding of, or, you know, to, to, to reach more people, should I say. Okay. Uh, let's see. Okay, Matthew 24. Matthew 24, chapter 24, verse 19. It says, Woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But I pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. You know, um, you know, uh, I, I, I believe through the Spirit of the Lord, you know, He says He's going to watch over His servants, you know. You know uh, his service of prophets, right? To come out and, and, and do this work, and, and not to be, you know, when that time of tribulation comes, you know, and it won't be no seven year tribulation. It's gonna be the end tribulation when your help I see me outside is on his way back, right? To destroy and to save, man. You know, a lot of people think when the Lord comes back, He's coming back with flowers and hugs and kisses. You know, it's not the case, man. Lord is coming back, man, to, uh, uh, to, to whoop ass, man, and take night. Okay? Yeah, and, you know, he, he has and he has to save his elect also. But, you know, it's going to, you know, the mass, uh, 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 it's going to be mass death, should I say. All right? Uh, it says, verse 21, it says, For then shall be great tribulation, such was as not since the beginning of the world to be to this time, nor, nor, 